to those who want to conquer something in life that been holding them back for quite some time, it's not gonna be easy. For those who want to be successful, it's not gonna be easy. I have a story to tell you guys today, and that is, <clears throat> let your pain motivate you. You see, because seventh through 12th grade, I was in summer school repeatedly, over and over. Seventh through 12th grade, I was in summer school, over and over and over again. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. I was saying to myself, Kavanta, it seemed like the only thing that you know is failure. You don't know nothing else besides failure. You know, at one point in time, I felt like giving up though. I felt like giving up though, because like why is so much of failures coming my way like I'm a bad person? I'm, I know I'm not a bad person, but why is it failures keep coming my way over and over and over again? And I was, I remember listening to a guy named Eric Tom, Thomas, excuse me, Eric Thomas, and my um, my consciousness was keep telling me this quote that he said, pain is temporary, it may last for a minute, it may last for a day, it may last for an hour or even a year, but eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. You know what, every time when I think about my failure, I let that push and motivate me. I ate my pain. I let my pain motivate me. I let my pain push me to a level I never been pushed to before ever in my life. I let that pain, every time when I look at that pain, I say, you temporary, you won't last forever because my mentor, Eric Thomas, I call him my mentor because he's the one that guide me through the tough obstacles I face in my life. He said that this is temporary, it won't last forever. So I did with my pain, excuse me, what I did with my pain is that I let it push me, I let it fuel me. And I told myself, Cavante, yes, you in pain right now, but you heading out the storm because you either in the storm or the heading out the storm. That's right, you either in the storm or heading out the storm. And I was in the storm. And I remember every single day I get up, I start running, I start chasing because I knew what exactly what God have called me to do. And that was to chase my destiny, which, is, which was the diploma at the time. I pushed myself even when <clears throat> I had nothing in me. I pushed myself. I said, Kavasa, you got this. Every single day, I'll push myself. In January 2018, I defeated those tests. I defeated those tests. The same tests that been holding me back. The same tests that I was keep failing over and over and over and over again. I conquer it. I defeated it. And it didn't defeat me this time. I defeated those tests. I conquered those tests. I destroyed those tests. I annihilate those tests. And I defeated, and it did not defeat me this time. But I'm just here to tell you, you gotta let your pain motivate you. Cause we all go through pain but some of us just sit down and cry about it and don't do nothing about it. You gotta let that pain motivate you. The problem is that you don't let your pain hurt bad enough for you to actually do something. That's, that's what it is. You don't let your pain hurt so bad that you wanna do something about it. You just wanna cry about it and not do nothing about it. But what I did is that I embraced the pain I embraced the pain. I make sure I embraced it. I had to embrace it. I was faced with it. Adversity was hitting me right before my eyes. I say, Cavante, you could what you could do with this pain is that you could let this pain fuel you, motivate you. I had a whole different perspective after I'm listening to my mentor. I call Eric Thomas. He gave me a whole different perspective about pain that I was enduring at that time. But I'm just here to tell you today 
that you gotta let your pain motivate you. I'm out.